You never liked being in the barrel. I think everyone was scared to tease you or throw jokes at you. Whatever. I think I've more than proven that I have no problem being in the barrel, especially when I'm hanging out with people that I know uh, respect me, like me, think I'm funny. Uh, we're all on the same page. Like, I've, I've explained this. I've explained all this on the OP Radio podcast if you choose to listen. Uh, a lot of these deep questions that come at me all the time. But basically, I can tell you this much. For many, many years, I knew that Jimmy and Anthony were against me. It was two against one. It happens. When you when you uh, enter into a, a situation where it's three guys, there's always going to be two that are closer than uh, the one. I was odd man out. I'm okay with that. It happens. But I also knew that those two guys did not respect me um, and didn't like me at all. So when, th- when they're taking shots at me, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go with it as much as you would with people that, uh, you know, respect you that are your friends or family members where you're all on the same page. That's where that came from. I think I'm more than, pr- I, I think I more than proved that that was all bullshit after the O and a show broke up. And I did the show with uh, Carl Ruiz and Sharon and Vic Henley and Chris Stefano and a little Voss in there and others. I more than showed that I could take a joke. And once again, that's out there if you choose. You can listen to this uh, stuff yourself and then you can make that determination. But I, I believe you'll go, oh, God damn, yeah, he, he can take a joke and, and he has no problem being in a barrel. What's different? I'll tell you what's different. I knew the guys around me liked me. Simple as that. 